Hey guys, Zeri11 here. Today I'm going to be showing what I collect, um, what I personally collect, my PC, now the teams I collect, the players I collect. Um, so, quite a few of you may know and should know that I am a Toronto Maple Leafs fan and I collect a lot of that, but there's some other uh, players and teams that I do collect that you may not know. So today I'm going to be sharing that with you guys so you know what I like to collect. So um, first we have some cards here of players and there's also like just um, a generalized, um, two. the first two here are kind of generalized. These are Future Watch cards. Um, we got Vinny Trocek here but um, I collect um, Future Watch cards any of them to be honest well I like the autograph feature watches um, I don't really like the non autos but um yeah I I want to start a nice big uh, future watch PC autograph I only have like 12 regular autograph I have a couple of uh, limited auto patches and I have a bunch of non autos but I want to start building I want to get like 50 of these So it's been five years since I started collecting Future Watch Auto. So yeah, this has been my main PC since 2017. I've been pretty much collecting anything and everything Future Watch related since then. I mean, it's slowed down a bit as of late. I haven't added as much to this collection as I've been focusing on other things, but here's what the collection looks like as of 2022, five years later. So where we begin, let's just oh. grab this box here. So let's start on the left side here. These are active sets. And as you can see, we have the 1920 set. Still need Makar, Fox, Schuster, uh, I just don't like looking at that. And then we have the 1415 set here. I haven't really made much progress with that. I mean, I had to scratch off a couple here. I forgot to, but and along with those, we have the duplicates. I have one hand, so this might be a problem, but there's all my 1920 duplicates. I typically don't hold on to all my duplicates unless I really like the player or really believe in the player, but but those are my current 1920 duplicates and my 1415 duplicates. What the heck happened to this card? I have no idea. It's the greasiest card I own. Not so PG actions were performed on this card. I'm sorry, Patrick Brown, but I do have a couple of other nice Patrick Browns there. But yeah, there's some 1415 duplicates. Well, there's some junior team I follow, guys. Also, here's some future watches. The junior team I follow there. So, handful of Perlinis. Uh, Josh, there he is. Gotta get Josh O's thing there. A couple of Vince Dunn's there. Then you got some Alex and Delkovich. These aren't all of them. I do have completed sets. I will show that in a second. There's Stadnika, another 1920 dupe, but he briefly played for the junior team I follow. And I should show these before I continue on with the future watches. These are actually not future watches. These are my SP Authentic Auto Collection. These are Sign the Time back here and then there's this miscellaneous SPA autos here a lot of these were from James a lot of goalies a lot of great cards here but you got like chirography more chirography moments autos uh, a golf SPA card K a couple of great white norths there scripted stoppers you get the idea there's a nice prestigious pairings I think I have another one I don't know where the heck I put so there's a few stragglers laying around there I'm pretty sure I have another one of these is somewhere I think it has like Thornton on it maybe I don't know and somewhere around here my collection is a mess I tried to gather as many cards I could find but there's definitely some stragglers for the future watches and for the SPA autos I'm not gonna show the other part of my collection is just a disaster uh we got a nice heater rookie review patch don't have too many patches in the future watch collection or the SPA collection there and then we got a bunch of limited autos there yeah just limited auto limited auto yeah then all of these back are the sign of the time starting with 97 98 there going all the way to 1920 and there's a bunch of interesting 1921s there a lot of really nice cards in here so some examples there's a nice marty bro there there there's a patch in here somewhere but like you just saw one there is Taze, lundquist carrie price like there's some good ones in there uh, these i got from james but every sba auto i'll put in here now i used to sell these help mitigate the cost of buying so many boxes of SBA, but I'm just going to hold on to these now. There's a lot of really nice ones here. Jeez. I don't really go through these that often. There's Robbie Fabry, Allmark. One of these I pulled from the 15, 16 box. A couple of Allmarks there. There's Shaw. It's nice there. But but yeah, just a bunch of sign the times there. There's a really awesome Cujo one there. So, so there's some of them. There's the decades. It's going to be the 2010 one and 2021 side note there. But so there's that. Of course, this is a progress toward 1920 and 1415. You got the Hughes brothers right there. Jack and Quinn. 
win. Uh, yeah, pretty standard stuff. I still need Kale McCarr there. These are all in order. Actually neat, unlike the rest of my collection there. So, and here's 1415. It should be noted. Some of my better 1415 ones are over here, but set will be here. Once it's finished, I'll put them all together. There is that. Okay, still need Hosternak from 1415, which is a big one, but, and Nemestikov, the Redemption. So there's pretty much that box. Again, 1450, I don't care if that'll take me 10 years to finish. I'm in no hurry. In 1920, I have to bite the bullet, even though I don't agree with the values of some of those players on there, even though I know Bakar is amazing. Shesterkin has been fantastic. Box has been fantastic. It's just so much. Jeez. And now let's get on to this box here. Where the heck do we start? Let's start with miscellaneous stuff here. So back here is miscellaneous non-auto duplicates. A lot of 1314 in there, which by the way, I do have the 1314 feature set. Auto and non-auto. We'll get into the sets in a moment. Oh. Oh, jeez. Man, this box is packed, but looks like we got some non-auto duplicates, I think. Yeah, a bunch of 15, 16 there. Jeez, maybe these aren't duplicates. But regardless, this section right here is non-auto future watches that aren't in a set. That's what I'm trying to get at here. It starts at 97. That's when the future watch started. So you got like the big one right there, Zanachar. Thank you, Andrew. 90-something percent of these cards I purchased myself or pulled myself, but there are some key cards in here that I did get from supporters, which is unbelievable. There's a huge one in here here I got from a supporter so, so there's non autos what the heck's this uh more non autos I have too much crap in here is this duplicates finally what is this no that's part of a set what are these I guess these are yeah these are just duplicate <sighs> more duplicates oh here we go here's the auto duplicates I usually just sell these to get ones I don't have most of these aren't great there should be a couple of decent ones there's a Nazem Kadri I have a couple of him but yeah most of these guys aren't too great yeah multiple Brett Sinis so these are the cards I'll typically move on from eventually to put towards ones I don't have but there's that yeah just a lot of all right ones I wouldn't even say all right just largely mass so but yeah there's some duplicates there and then we have this long row right here geez these are just miscellaneous FWAs from uh 2001 2002 when the future watch auto started there was only six in the 0102 set the big one being Ilya kolchuk all the way up to what do we got here 1516 but 1314 isn't in there 1314 is uh here yeah, okay. But yeah, this box just has a ton of miscellaneous future watch autos, some of which I need to take out and put in the good area. Like, it's far from just a bunch of fecal matter. Like, there's a Brent Seabrook there. I'm pretty sure I got, like, Corey Perry in there. Uh, Dion. Like, there's some good names in there. Oh, fecal matter in here is probably... Uh, not that. <laughs> Uh, Linus Allmark, so, like, just a few good ones, nothing overly crazy there, it's a recent gold open I got from Mail, so, oh. there's Arvidsons, like, some decent names there, like, Jared McCann, it spans the years here, miscellaneous ones, I mean, eventually I do want to get every future watch, that's very ambitious, nine tens a year, I'm pretty close on, still need Luca Caputi, one of my most sought after cards, but, but yeah, there's a bunch of miscellaneous, all right, future watch, oh, like, Matt Duchesne, there's some good ones in there, like, there's a number of good ones in there, so, I'm probably gonna have to go through these and take out ones that are probably too good to be in here and put them over there but also a side note uh yeah i can't get jordan leopold out of here so he's gonna be stuck in there for the rest of his life but there's miscellaneous future watch autos right there kind of filled to the brim i'm gonna need to find a new spot for those okay so let's move on to sets now we got 13 14 here non-autos and autos i believe there's like 60 non-autos and 60 autos i bought the entire set back in 2017 for like 700 bucks which uh where the heck is he no, no, no. Where the heck is he? Oh, there he is. That one pretty much pays for it now. And obviously, 13, 14 is decent. Where the heck is he? Oh, there's Barkov. Hubert was in there somewhere. Tarasenko was in there. There's some good names in 13, 14. There's Forsberg. Like, it's a good set. I'm really happy to have the 13, 14 set there. So if I have any duplicates from the set here, they'll just go over here. Or if they're good ones, I have an example here. Uh, Morgan Riley. I'll just put it over there. But there's 13, 14. Again, I'm working on 14, 15. Don't have 15, 16. Even though Brady Shea exists, it's an absolute miracle. He signed. It only took him six years to sign but uh yeah do not have 15 16 we're going to 16 17 next here great crop where's the start here yep willie right here oh we got the old list hold on i haven't seen this in a while but oh geez here's what i need way back when i believe jake gensel was like the last one i need mike matheson some guy was like hoarding him but there you go there's a 16 17 set there jeez but there you go willie starting it off there but yeah 16 17 is really strong here it takes a handful of cards for it to pick up steam here a lot of these guys are carry josh morrissey's a good d there but once he hit like one four it starts getting really good. You got Line A there. You got the Marner there. Uh, and then you get the Marner again, the black. And then it continues on over here. Yeah, it just gets better and better. This crop, dang. Drum's kind of been a disappointment for being third overall there. But Jimmy V see another disappointment. But yeah, 16, 17 is a really strong crop. Regardless, like Ericsson X Assault. Like, 
all these guys are just really solid players. Great player Kyle Connor there. Like Aho, elite player right there. One of the best in my opinion. Like definitely top five in the crop. Now there's Beauvillier. So yeah. Also, um, my one touch allocation is very dated. I probably figured out one touches for these like three or four years ago. So yeah, Aho should be in a one touch. But in general, I'm not too worried about it. Also, like some cards. Here's Honka. He has an auto and a non-auto. I'm pretty sure. There's the auto version. That was an update. Uh, same with Arturi Lekin in there. There's a non auto oh there's the auto but yeah 16 17 great set i do try to pick up inscribes every now and then and i just throw them in the set there as well as the blacks so don't have too many black future watches but there are a handful of inscribes just laying around by the way they came in in 15 16 as well as the blacks but yeah as long as i have the inscribed or the black i'll count it towards the set there there's 16 17 then after 16 17 do i have the list here no okay well 17 18 not as great of a crop there's still some solid names but definitely not as good nowhere near as good let's be real uh Keller probably should swap that one touch out with the Aho or somebody. Even though Keller is very good, but there's that. Or John Gillies, he's been playing a bit for the Devils. Yeah, 17, 18, not that great. There's going to be miscellaneous inscribes. We got the Josh Hosang inscribed. Could never get a black future watch of Hosang. Somebody was hoarding like five of them and was being hostile. Oh, there's an Elkovich inscribed there. Yeah, not a great crop there. Where's probably the best one? The uh, Heischer's good. Uh, Debrinkin. Um, but yeah, obviously Heischer. That was inserted in 18, 19 there. But yeah, so there's 17, 18. There's some gems in there. But in general, it's my weakest set for sure. Moving on, we got 1819 here, which is a decent set. There's a middle set. I think I have a couple of him. But some notable names there. Svechikov pulled that one there. Brady Kachuk. I'm just picking the one touch of there. Carter Hart. Carter Hart. Carter Hart. And obviously, yeah, if they're graded, they're not going to be with the set. But yeah, 1819 is a pretty decent set. There's probably some guys in here that I need to put in one touches. Where the heck does it even start? I've really confused myself. So, wait. where is it? And Devontae's, there's one that's shot up. I had two of those decided to sell one. I mean, really good defenseman there. I think that's the end right there. I don't know. I really messed that up. Jeez. Yeah, 1819 is a fairly decent set there. And Vladar. Like, there's some all right players in here. So, there's that. There's 1819 set. Troy Terry's one that's broken out. I don't know what number he is. He's somewhere in there so there's that and that just leaves uh these cards here and graded cards but behind them there we got some patch cards yeah i don't have great cases got a Kyle clifford patch this one's not in great shape look at that pulled it from the pack like that but it's clifford i like clifford oh so yeah i'll just hold on to that there's some more miscellaneous auto patches i do not collect auto patches i probably should get more i mean they're really nice cards there mark Byzantine, uh justin falk there Nick Schmaltz. He doesn't have a Future Watch auto, I'm pretty sure. It's non-auto, but he has an auto patch. That's why I have that one there, so. Uh, there's some patches. Don't have many patches. That's not really been the focal point. Just the autos, the 999. I've been the focal point. Also, I don't have any of the retros. 1920. Through that. Don't like those. They're just there to produce more boxes. Now we're moving on to some of the nicer ones here. So, starting from, well, 97, 98. And then it snakes here to, well, more recent stuff, but there's Chara, Kovalchuk, Rick Nash. So, all three of these cards I got from Andrew there, Mark Andre Fleury, Ryan Getzlaff. Again, I gotta re go through these to make sure I got out all the ones that are worthy of being over here. Duncan Key. So, a lot of these guys, either I really like the player or they're just really good or they're potentially Hall of Fame bound. But there's Phil, only two Phil's. That's really disappointing in my part. Kopitar there, I had two Kopitar, sold one to my brother. Uh, Malkin there. Actually, I bought this in a Beckett Raw card review, the RCR. It was a nine. I took it out because it wasn't really well protected, but there's Malkin. Uh, Rask. I think this one's the one that's beat up more. Another Rask there. So, a couple of Rask. Uh, Taze. There's my first one I got back in 2010. First Future Watch Auto back in 2010. Got from the expo there. One of my most sentimental cards in my collection there, Taze. There's Kane number one. There's Kane number two with the lesser auto there. Uh, there's Carey Price. Another card from Andrew G. Then we got Nicholas. <sighs> another card from Andrew G's. Uh, Nicholas Backstrom. There's Claude Giroux. So good names here. Doughty. Tavares. Yeah. Carlson. Pretty much most of the key guys. Ben. Some of the guys I need. I need Bergeron. Speaking of Bergeron, there's Martian. Bergeron, Pasternak, Hedman, Stamkos. So Bruins and Lightning guys i'm not too worried about it, if i'm being honest and some more guys that might not be worthy of one touch anymore like hall there say again say again is good but there's the benajad his cards are probably undervalued i'd say considering how good he is but there's that uh got a couple of landis cogs there yeah landis cog Dujit hopkins riley smith that's a recent purchase there riley smith uh mark stone a couple of morgan riley's there that aren't in the set uh, McKinnon number two, McKinnon number three. There's my only dry sidle. Only have one Leon dry sidle there. I think that's my only dry sidle card I have of no. There's that. I mean, my fear with him is he's going to be overshadowed by McDavid. That's yeah, my biggest fear long term. But Bo Horvat in one touch there. I think it was a former redemption. That's still a good one there. Johnny Goodrow. We got Vasilevsky. That's a very good one there. Uh, Jack Eichel. The uh, update from 1819. He has a non-auto. But we'll see what he does with Vegas Gold Knights. Him on a good team. I'm intrigued. 
uh, there's Larkin there. I had two Larkins, but I sold one, I believe, a while back to get a McDavid. There's Miko Rantanen. Somebody got this from Buyback, which is hostile, but I bought it off them. But there's Miko there. That's a good one. There's a Cop Black. Got this for like 10 bucks because the edges are crap on it. You can see it right there. I mean, most of the edges on the 1560 ones are bad, so I'll take that. Ehlers inscribed. So there's some miscellaneous good ones that aren't in a completed set yet. And then we have the graded ones here. I should say some of these cards here, I don't actually store here. I'm just putting them in here for the sake of the video because they were in here for the longest time, but they're in a much more secure spot nowadays. Here's some cheap slab FWAs. Yeah, nothing too great there. Got an 8 Bozak and a 9 Fi Perlini. 9 Murray. So let's just grab a couple here. Yeah, I've showed these recently, so a lot of kind of mad ones. There's my best cane. That's not a mad one there. I love this card. That's a great card there. 9 is really solid for that card there. Petrangelo, True Gem. Like that one there. Junior Team I Fall. There's my only Elias card in Gem, but still a nice one there. There's my only Panarin card. Very solid there. 9.5. And then that this leaves us with the big boys here, so hold on. Let me uh, give these guys some respect here. So there you go. There's the OV9. Sid 9.5. I've only had one of each ever. I think the OV is probably my biggest accomplishment in collecting right there, getting that one there. And then we got the McDavid. This is a more recent one. 0.5 off that's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life as long as i have that card i'm so tempted to crack this because it's a nice example of the mcdavid i'm barely confident it could get a min gem but <sighs> and then we got the austin matthews there inscribed that card is nice right there well yeah guys there's my future watch collection as of 2022 i'm probably missing a few miscellaneous ones like stragglers but i'll find them eventually i know i'm missing some uh miscellaneous autos or somewhere but yeah five year update of my future watch collection i'll probably do this in five years time so we'll see what it looks like then and as always Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.